I make 250k a month. Yes. <laughs> that's so cra it's just mind blowing money. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but I always like hesitate saying that because honestly, I deserve just as much respect as when I made 200 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like everyone assumes all OnlyFans people make hella bank, mm -hmm. and it's really such a small minority. And honestly, like all of us are hustlers that work really hard. Keep telling yourself that, darling. What are the biggest like misconceptions about what you do, or? I think um, that, that it's easy, you know, even if I'm in the same room as a lot of other rich and successful people, I still do and for a lot of people that still means I don't deserve respect. See, she's Well, she could stay mad all she wants because men never respected what comes easy for women and there's a reason why what you do is one of the oldest um, jobs in the world, you know, well before it started becoming a thing to put it on film. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So today we are going to be discussing OnlyFans and women who do, do the X work. And <laughs> I thought this was really, really funny, man, because it just goes to show you, man, like women really I'm not sure if it's like they don't understand men or they just don't care or they just expect men to get with the times and change up their way of thinking and quote unquote being more open minded, which is really just translation for let me do what the hell I want to do while I continue to hold you to a traditional standard. Um you're going to see what I'm talking about in this next clip. This was very interesting. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next clip. Relationships are hard in this industry. Where is yes? Yes? No. Wait. Oh, wait. This is, no. This wait. One. This one. No. This is yes. Yeah. This is yeah. no. <laughs> For sure. Um, I find it incredibly hard to date to the point where I actually like can't get dates. So there's two perspectives on that. So if I were to go meet somebody, it's kind of hard because I don't like random people to know my real name. So obviously I'm meeting them as Adriana Chechik and that's extremely hard. It's intimidating. Um, I've had guys literally walk out on me when I've met them because they're so intimidated by me. And then also I've done some of the most extreme sacks on camera that guys can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of live like a little bit of a lonely life. There's another aspect where guys only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends. They immediately treat me like the Adrianic Adriana Chechik like experience, right? So like if I was gonna go meet a guy, like they would never hold my hand or anything. The first thing they do is they try and like have sex with me. So it's really like disheartening to be honest. And I've kind of just given up. I feel like sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend like that. I might just end up being alone forever. Now I've actually done a reaction to her before and um, I hate to tell on myself, but I can confirm she has done some of the most extreme shit in the adult film industry. I, I know this for a fact. She nasty. She nasty. Um, but I wanted to chime in on a particular part when she said that men literally walk out on her because they're intimidated by her. I think she used the term intimidated to make herself feel justified and feel like there's nothing wrong I, if anything i will argue that these guys were probably disgusted or they were probably looking at you like uh, uh maybe they didn't want to be seen with you like adriana chechik uh, probably top five top 10 top 20 on pornhub till this day and i think she stopped doing um film for a while now but telling you she she's very very well known um yeah i don't think it was intimidating i think those guys just were scared to be seen with you because everybody knows who you are and like you said you saw you've done some of the most extreme stuff on film and she over here like they don't even want to hold my hand like first they just want to they just want to have sex with me i'm like what do what do y'all women expect 
when it comes to what y'all do for a living and these men that want y'all. Y'all can't y'all can't sit over here and get mad at them because they want the same thing y'all been they've been seeing you do on film. This is crazy, bro. Let's keep it moving. Respect. I love everything about the industry, but I'm also I'm 21. So right now I'm not looking for anything super long term. Relationship wise, I'm very monogamous. So when I do get to that point, I think I will have wanted to leave the industry so that I can pursue that to the extent that I want to. If I was trying to find a monogamous relationship right now, it would be basically impossible with what I do. On the same page as Holly, once I get into a relationship, I probably will want it to be monogamous. And I think it'll just work best if I'm more out of the scene once I want to get into one. And you're barely getting into the scene, right? Well, I've done OnlyFans for three years, but I'm going to start working with more people now and doing porn, so I'm very excited. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So the They're literally on here complaining about how hard it is to get and keep a man because of what they do for a living. But the moment this woman wants to advance her career to make expose herself even more, they're over here cheering her on. Woo! <sighs> See, this is what I mean, man. This is the problem in the West, man. You got too many women that are spending their best years either doing stuff like this or just out in the streets doing it. And then it's like, it's no wonder why so many you're starting to see so many women in their late 20s, early 30s, single and childless, because a lot of them was probably moving like this. It's it's just crazy, man, because OnlyFans just made things even worse. And that's pretty much what you got on, on, on all these women. They're either doing OnlyFans or they're doing flat out adult films or they're doing both. All right. And the next chick, um, one of the chicks that you're gonna see seat speaks later on she said something oh my god i'm gonna just let it play bro let's keep it moving i agree relationship is hard this is true story i was on hinge at one point i was posting my profile and this guy act like he doesn't know who i am and ask me out so when we got to the bar or whatever he started talking this oh do you want to tell me anything Oh, how about your online things? This person not really just wanted to date me. He wanted to like ask me out to see if I'm real or maybe like have a sex with me. Well, no fucking shit. I agree that it's really hard. Um, once you get into a relationship, your fans feel like they're not in the same relationship anymore. So to be with someone like me, you're gonna have to understand that I can't be posting you. I can't like showing you off how you are with me because my fans are not only gonna feel like entitled but they're also gonna be disrespectful to you they're gonna be sending you screenshots of my work and telling you very hateful things and I feel like you have to be mentally prepared to date a worker or a performer because of what comes with it and you know coming home sometimes or I don't want to have sex you're gonna have to be okay with not like wanting to have and it's just a lot that comes with it. So I think it's really hard. Basically, you Can you imagine being a man that works with a woman who does adult films for a living and she comes home from filming and doesn't want to have sex with you? Think about that for a second. That's literally what that woman just said, man. Like not only are you going to have to be with okay not being public with me and being and you know showing me off on social media because my audience and my fans are more important than you but on top of that there are going to be days where i come home to you and i'm not going to feel like having sex because i just filmed i just filmed myself for about an hour doing it with somebody else so yes ladies yeah what you do for a living is going to affect your dating and quit trying to mask a, a man that is okay with doing this as being strong ain't shit strong about that y'all know it that's why y'all mask it that way to try to manipulate see this is why 
Ooh, I'm telling you, that that that, that will be a whole nother conversation. But I'm telling you, this is why women have the kind of tongues that they have because this is the only way they can manipulate men into doing stupid shit like this this is why the talk why they talk the way they talk bro y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description. The pinned in the comments as well as my latest mixtape, The Genesis. And if you want to purchase any merch, the Spreadshot.com link is in the description as well. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.